Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Anis Rahman. I'm an endocrinologist and uh, welcome to a yet another episode of District Endocrine. Today we are going to talk about Graves disease. So let's get into it. Graves disease is an autoimmune system disorder where there is an overproduction of thyroid hormone and that results in hyperthyroidism. Now, Graves disease is a common disorder with overthyroid, overactive thyroid, uh, particularly affecting women and those who are younger than 40 years of age. Treatment is focused on reducing thyroid hormone production, which helps with the severity of hyperthyroid symptoms. Common signs and symptoms of Graves' disease include anxiety, mood irritability, weight loss, and that is usually unintentional goiter, which is the enlarged thyroid gland. Uh, some patients can also have fine tremors of their fingers and hands, um, heat sensitivity, increased perspiration or having a moist skin, menstrual irregularities, erectile dysfunction or sexual dysfunction, uh, frequent bowel movements are also common symptom, um, irregular or rapid heartbeat uh, called palpitations, um, sleep disturbances, up to one third of the patients who have Graves' disease develop inflammation and immune response to the muscles and the tissues around the eyes, and that results in Graves' ophthalmopathy. Common signs and symptoms may include gritty sensation, bulging eyes, pain or pressure sensation in the eyes, retracted or puffy eyelids, uh, inflamed or red eyes. All of these can have cosmetic uh, issues. Uh, light sensitivity, uh, double vision, and sometimes vision loss can also happen in very severe cases. Graves dermopathy is when the Graves disease affects the skin, and it's an uncommon manifestation of Graves disease, which is very rare, and sometimes it presents as the initial symptoms of Graves, uh, which is very rare. Now, it can uh, present with thickening and redness, uh, reddening of the skin specifically around the shins and top of the feet. What causes Graves disease? So Graves disease has antibodies which are called thyrotropin receptor antibody TRAB produced in the body that excites the thyroid gland and the thyroid produces more thyroid hormone. The reasons are unclear what really starts this. However, there are several risk factors that have been identified uh, to have increased the risk of getting Graves' disease. First of all, family history. Suppose there are family members with Graves' disease, there is more likelihood that you may also develop Graves' disease uh, with possible genetic uh, genetic cause. Gender, women are much more likely to develop Graves' disease than men. Age, usually people under age of 40 are likely to develop Graves' disease. Uh, if someone has another autoimmune disorder, there are more likelihood that you may develop Graves' disease. For example, having type 1 diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis, for example. Emotions and physical stress, uh, which can also trigger Graves' disease. Uh, pregnancy or recent childbirth have also been associated with Graves' disease. Smoking cigarettes can also increase your risk of developing Graves' disease as well as the uh, eyes affected by the Graves' disease. One of the life-threatening complications is called thyroid storm. However, thankfully, this is very rare and patients may need ICU admission and emergency treatment. Patients who are pregnant, Graves' disease can have several severe complications such as miscarriage, preterm birth, maternal heart failure, um, preeclampsia, which is the high blood pressure during the pregnancy, fetal thyroid problems, uh, which is the baby has thyroid issues, heart rhythm disorders such as atrial fibrillation, which is a very fast heartbeat, and heart architecture changes, which can result in congestive heart failure. Brittle bones. Untreated hyperthyroid can result in weak and brittle bones and this condition is called osteoporosis. 
how is the diagnosis of Graves' disease is made? Well, your physician will likely to perform a physical exam, get a detailed history to understand your current thyroid status, uh, and this can be done with. Uh, also, they can order standard test and workup that includes blood test. The most common test will include TSH, which is the thyroid stimulating hormone, thyroid hormones such as free T4 and total T3 to understand what are the thyroid levels. Uh, generally, thyroid antibodies are also checked to understand uh, the cause of an overactive thyroid etiology. Radioactive iodine uptake scan is also used to make a definite diagnosis. Uh, the minimal dose of radio iodine labeled iodine is given and then there is followed by a scan that helps to identify whether the hyperthyroid situation uh, in a person is from the Graves disease or some toxic nodule or anything else. Thyroid ultrasounds are not usually done unless there is an enlarged goiter, which is the enlarged thyroid gland, and then there are some cold areas seen on the uptake scan. Thank you so much for watching another episode of District Endocrine. This is Dr. Rahman signing off. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe uh, to our channel. You can uh, visit our website www.districtendocrine.com for more article and more more articles and information. Thank you very much.